Hello, good yo-yo people. I'm Nate, and this is Let's Talk Yo-Yo. Today, I am going to show you a trick called Break the Wrist and Walk Away. This is my trick, Break the Wrist and Walk Away. Today, I am throwing the G-squared yo-yo's Big Boy 430 in the RB sauce. Uh, yeah, I love this yo-yo, it's huge. Uh, and it plays really well. It does not play as heavy as it looks or looks on paper. Uh, it's a lot of fun and it is a floaty beast. All right, this is a fairly simple trick. It's a wrist mount trick. This is how it goes. All right, so that's the trick. It is a wrist mount trick. It actually goes in and out of a wrist mount a couple different times. I like to call these kind of tricks bookend type of tricks because they end and begin with the same sort of formation. Here is the trick. The first part, you're gonna get into a wrist mount. If you don't know that mount, I'm sure there's a tutorial out there somewhere, but that's how I'm getting into it. Otherwise, you can just get into it in a normal way or a different way that you want. So after you get into the wrist mount, you're gonna just pop the yo-yo to the back. So it goes like this. You're gonna pop it from the wrist mount gonna kind of pinch here a little bit and you're gonna pull it back here so your your palms are kind of coming towards your body like this and now the yo-yo is here so this is what they're this is the string the yo-yo was on originally in the wrist mount and you're gonna land it back on here so the next part of the trick is to land it now back to here all right so sort of here and back just on and you're gonna flip your hands you're gonna flip your hands back onto this mount now what you have here is an extra twist up here so you're not really in a wrist mount anymore. You have an extra twist there. So you could twist out of that and get back into a wrist mount. Again, so you're in the wrist mount, you're pulling this way, okay? You're holding here. And then as it comes back up, you got your back into a sort of a wrist mount, but you have this twist here. What I'm doing is it's a kind of an interesting pop. There's two kind of things happening at the same time. Um, sort of a jump rope, sort of motion, but the jump rope is gonna be here, all right? So I'm going to pop over first, and then, so that gets me, if I were to just go into that, I'd be into a wrist mount. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go here, and I'm popping again. So this string at the bottom is now jump roped and twisted one more time right around here. And what you're doing when you pop it over, you're getting rid of that twist and you're then giving a twist down here, okay? So you're there now. The next part of the trick is you're going to then roll the yo-yo onto the middle string here, here, okay? And then you're just gonna drop out of that. So the idea is to do it in all in one motion. Kind of looks vaguely like a double triangle, but you're still holding on to this slack here. You don't want to let go of that. What you're going to do is you're going to reject out the back. And as it flies up, you're going to open up this middle part here and you're going to land it into the circle. So you're rejecting out the back. And as I, as it came up, I'm opening up that middle and it's popping through the center. Now you're here, your hands are kind of turned out, your wrists are turned out and you're going to pull it back in. Fold it back in, you're gonna land it back on here. Get your wrist back in there, and now you're back into a wrist mount. And you can get out of this however you want to dismount. I like to just kind of pop it out the back and twist out. I'll show you that again. So from the wrist mount, you can just practice this part on its own. So you're popping out the back, and then as it comes down, you're gonna then spin. If, you, if you're struggling with that, you can go ahead and dismount. Um, and get out of the wrist mount or you, the typical way if you want similar to the beginning of the trick I'd recommend that you learn the laceration type of wrist mount. It's a very cool slick way to get into that um, And uh, anyways, it's a good it's a good way to learn I always recommend whenever you're learning mounts anyways to learn all the ways you can get in and out of a mount um, all the ways possible because then you can use those in different tricks as you see fit So I think those two ways of getting in the, into the, the wrist mount the beginning of the trick and then dismounting and then going into the vine um, Is the best way to do that. All right, so I'm gonna show you the trick in uh, slow motion
that is it uh, for this trick. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you learned it, let me know. Um, it's a kind of a goofy trick, but there's maybe some elements in there that you can maybe take into other tricks. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed, break the wrist and walk away. All right, that's it for today, folks. Good day and good yo-yo.